Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I've got some pretty important news for my legacy lightsaber collectors out there. Way back last year when they Disney announced that we were going to vote for the upcoming or the newest upcoming legacy lightsaber and they announced the Count Dooku and the Ahsoka Tano uh, Clone Wars versions, they also said that they were going to be discontinuing some of the currently available lightsabers and that they didn't give any specific information. Well, here we are. 2021 and we know now which the ones are that are going to be discontinued and this is not just me speculating anymore this is direct from the words of, of mem you know, cast members at galaxy's edge inside doc on Dars, because some lightsabers have disappeared and i have received confirmation that they are not coming back so if you're a collector of these lightsabers or you're trying to collect them all you may want to get on on top of these before they are gone because some of these the price is skyrocketing on and we'll get to those in a minute but as of right now i know for three for sure that are going to or that are discontinued or just about gone no longer available there is a fourth one that i'm hearing rumors of is going to be joining the discontinued list yet it's still available at uh, walt disney world and i believe out west in uh, california but I'm hearing rumors that that is going to join the discontinued list also. But enough for me jabbering. You want to know what you need to get your hands on. But the first one, which is kind of surprising to me, that is getting discontinued is Ahsoka Tano's Rebels versions of her lightsabers, which also are now the Mandalorian versions of her lightsabers. Since she made her appearance in Season 2 of Mandalorian, this is the, the sabers that she carries. So I am actually a little surprised that they are discontinuing these with such the huge popularity of the Mandalorian and of course Ahsoka Tano. So this is a little surprising, which I understand since they brought out the Reb or the uh, Clone Wars version, you know, back end of last year, they released that one. I already speculated that these were gonna disappear, but it has been confirmed that these are on the goodbye list. So if you do not have Ahsoka's Rebels slash Mandalorian versions of her white lightsabers, you need to get on those. The price has gone insane for these. You know, if, you, if you're really curious, go on eBay and check out, uh, look these up and see what uh, some of these lightsabers are selling for since they are no longer available at either of the theme parks at Galaxy's Edge. These are skyrocketed. You know, some I've seen some almost a thousand dollars. That's crazy how, <laughs> how the price has skyrocketed on these. So if you do not have Ahsoka's Rebels, version now, there are two versions of the black grips and the silver grips i have the black grips which was the original ones that were released here but they did release the silver grips later but whichever you prefer or whichever you can get your hands on before they're gone i highly recommend getting those because these are a really cool set of sabers to have now that one confirmed gone next one confirmed gone which is also a little surprising is Jedi Temple Guard is discontinued and will be no longer available at either of the Galaxy's Edges. The reason this is surprising is this was a Galaxy's Edge exclusive. They made this one specifically for Galaxy's Edge. So I'm a little surprised that they are discontinuing it. Maybe, maybe it's not a very big seller. I guess they look at the numbers of how many they've sold over the time frame and they say, hey, it's not worth it you know, to keep you know, producing these even though it is an exclusive for Galaxy's Edge. But it is one of the most unique sounding and looking lightsabers. I absolutely love the look of this, very sleek, very elegant, and I love the sound, the yellow blade, awesome. Once again, they are gone. No longer available, either park. Price is going through the roof. I believe these are still available. I, I, I did look, I did look, uh, do some looking on eBay just to see what kind of availability there were on these before I made this video. There are some of these still out there. It looks like they're in the three to 500 range right now for the, uh, the Temple Guard. So if you want to add it to your collection, like I said, you need to get on it because they are disappearing and the price is going getting higher by the day as more people find out that these are gone. So I'm sure I'm not doing you all a favor putting the PSA out there for these that the price is probably going to go even higher on these. You know, people are going to start scrambling to pick these up. But very such a shame that this one is getting discontinued. It is such a cool lightsaber. But I'm not really sure why they're discontinuing it. I know Cal Kestis is coming, but I'm not sure why they would discontinue the Temple Guard that was a Galaxy's Edge exclusive. To make something new but there you go that's number two that is confirmed that is going to be discontinued all right number three that's discontinued which i'm not really surprised by this one 
I can imagine it probably wasn't a, a great seller, but Asajj Ventress is getting discontinued, which I kind of speculated back when they released the Count Dooku because the Count Dooku case had the separatist symbol on the front also. So I kind of, and that's what does on Ahsoka, or on Ahsoka's, Asajj's case is the separatist symbol. So I kind of speculated maybe, and they also both had the curved hilt that they were gonna discontinue this version so they can make Dooku's with the same, you know, saber frame instead of having to make two with the saber frame. But I do have the connected double version. They are sold separately, so at the Darth Maul, you haven't got to buy one, but I, you know, I display mine and I uh, have mine as the connected dual version. But discontinued, no longer available, either park. Get one, get two. I know she dual wields, but it is, I, I love this, just the look of it connected. Such a cool, such a very cool and awesome looking hilt to have displayed as a, as the S shaped dual bladed. So if you want a size Ventress, like I said, get on it. I look, there's like none on eBay. So it's gonna be a tough find. But good luck if you're going to try to find some Asajj Ventress before they're gone. Or maybe they already are gone. You know, they're very few. And if you find one, I'm sure it's not going to be cheap. So good luck. Asajj Ventress confirmed gone from the Legacy Lightsaber Collection. Now, those are the three that are confirmed, that I have confirmed are gone. The one that I'm starting to hear rumors of that is very surprising, which I'm really surprised is actually, if it's true or not, is Mace Windu. I am hearing rumors that Mace Windu is going to be discontinued once they get through the uh, the current stock that they have. Now, which is very surprising because this lightsaber notoriously sold out over and over. It was very hard to find for a while uh, Galaxy, either Galaxy's Edge, just from the popularity, which obviously is you know it's one of the most beautiful looking hilts that that is available so i'm i'm really surprised that they would be discontinuing the mace windu so that's pure speculation right now they are still available both parks there's plenty of stock on them you know i was just there you know the past few days plenty of mace windu but that's a rumor take it with a grain of salt but you may want to pick one up while the price is reasonable if you don't have one, just in case it does join the discontinue list. Why are they getting discontinued? To make new sabers. You know, it's kind of a crummy, crummy plan, you know, for collectors. You know, they are a little pricey. They actually did raise the price again, another $10. So now most of them are 140 and up instead of 130 and up. But, I mean, it's good that they'll you know get rid of some old ones and be able to make more new ones but it, it is unfortunate for those people who can't collect them as fast or don't have access to them be able to get them all before they discontinue them but it w how cool would it be you know, just have this massive collection you know you go to galaxy's edge and you know there's 20 different lightsabers to choose from but i get it they don't have the display space for it i'm sure they don't have the storage space to, to you know to store all these and i'm sure it's expensive to have to constantly keep stock on so many different lightsabers it's easier to keep stock on 10 lightsabers than it is to keep stock on 20 you know what i'm saying especially if they're slower sellers why would you want to have to have put all that money in inventory for a slow selling lightsaber when you, you know just keep making ones that sell over and over and over again the only ones we know confirmed that are coming is Cal Kestis. I mean, I made a video on that. They had the reveal there, you know, a couple months ago, I guess now. But that's the only one we have know that's coming. But I'm sure more is coming that they're maybe release, you know, give some info on later as closer as they get to release. Dooku was a surprise end of last year. So maybe there's going to be some surprises along with Cal Kestis, which I'm sure there will be. They released two back in uh, 2019. They released two last year, and I'm sure they're going to release two this fall. Cal Kestis and a surprise one. Who knows? So stay tuned for that. Like I said, if you want any of these lightsabers, Windu, Temple Guard, the Rebels Ahsoka, there goes my <laughs> mid or cap went flying, or uh, uh, Saj Ventress, single, single hilt, two hilt separate, or connected. They are on the discontinue list. Get out there. Price is going up. Products disappearing. This was my pen to flow PSA for today. So to my fellow collectors, if you want them, you better get them. They are disappearing. So, so good video, but bad video at the same time. Hope you guys enjoyed it.
Thanks for the likes, the comments, and the subscriptions. Follow me on Twitter at Pen2Flow. This has been the Pen2Flow. Unfortunately, discontinued Legacy Lightsaber Perspective.